These comments from the president are raising questions about exactly what he knew about the ongoing baby formula crisis and when he knew it, despite previous claims from his White House that they've been working on this issue for months. Here's former Press Secretary Jen Psaki just three weeks ago. President Biden has directed the administration to work urgently to ensure that infant formula is safe and available for families across the country during the Abbott Nutrition Voluntary Recall. This, has been, this is work that's been underway for months. For months. And just days later, the administration's health secretary revealed this. You're satisfied with the government's response throughout this? From everything I've, uh, I've known, and FDA has kept me apprised of this from last year, uh, we have been moving as quickly as we can. Well, just yesterday, when the president made this stunning admission, it was just moments after formula manufacturers told him during a White House roundtable that they knew immediately how bad the shortages could get after the shutdown of a manufacturing plant in February. Well, the president said this. I became aware of this problem sometime in after April, in early April, about how intense it was. And so we did everything in our power from that point on. So we found out in April, Jenna, but uh, Jen Psaki told us they've been working on this for months. Um, there was a whistleblower all the way back in the fall. Uh, it seems that the timeline's a bit jumbled. And I think the question is, why did no one tell the president? I'm curious as to why we're having a conversation about the TikTok of how this ended up uh, where it did. Um, because if you look at all the administrations, there's always a lot of jumbling. I don't need to reference exactly what happened going into COVID for six weeks with the former administration. But I think the real question becomes is how is it that we are focusing on feeding uh, newborn babies? Um, this is, we are one of six countries in the world that doesn't have a national paid uh, parental leave program, that's an embarrassment. And so the burden of this, this crisis, of this trauma, is again falling on women. And so how is it that we are making sure that we can certainly streamline information within the existing administration? Clearly, they fumbled it. But the real question is, is how did this possibly happen to begin with when we have a monopoly clearly on baby formula. Emily, the timeline matters, accountability matters. We can talk about COVID in the last administration creating the most advanced testing system in the modern world, ventilators being left a stockpile that was de completely depleted. But let's focus on the current crisis. Yesterday, Karine Jean-Pierre was asked a number of questions about the baby formula crisis, and here were her answers or lack thereof. <laughs> who, who is the person in the West Wing yeah. who decided after six or eight weeks that this baby formula shortage was finally something that somebody should tell the president about. Okay, look, again, I have to go back and talk to the president. I did not hear him take questions or answer any questions to all of you. And so this is, I want to do my due diligence, right? So someone called here at the White House to say this could be an issue that requires presidential I, involvement. So I don't have the timeline on that. I mean, is the president satisfied with the FDA's response in this crisis? Yes, he's satisfied. He's satisfied, Emily. I mean, to me, this illustrates that his team is just as incompetent and worthless as the president is. And you are right, wow. absolutely. The brunt of this is falling on women's and newborns. That's a travesty. And we absolutely have to hold someone accountable. So according to the president, he found out in April, Becerra said he knew last year that the different ranks of the press secretary said April. I sort of don't care what it is because the bottom line is that they failed. They're certainly not being transparent with us. They're certainly not being honest. And it's a that lie that it was unpredictable when you shut down a major producer of baby formula, when you shut down that factory, when it takes you four months to do so, when our tax dollars pay for the bloated FDA to pretend to investigate, to pretend to care, and then you can absolutely see that writing on the wall, and it doesn't look good. So right now, children are starving, and I hold a deep fear for women in the nutrition of babies, but it seems like our administration doesn't care and is only concerned with pointing figures and, oh, I wasn't there for that moment, I'm not sure. We deserve better, and we will hold them better come November. And Julie, economic yeah. advisor Brian Deese was asked yesterday by Jake Tapper, you know, hey, why didn't you tell the president? And his answer had to do with the president's relevancy. Watch. The president, the guy who, the only one who can invoke the Defense Production Act to uh, force companies to produce the, this incredibly direly needed infant formula, he's not told until April. The, the, uh, Karine Jean-Pierre, your, your press secretary, just said this has been a whole of government approach. That doesn't include the president? 
The FDA took the appropriate measures to shut down the facility in February. And when that happened, the FDA and the relevant uh, officials from across the government were on, focused on the effort to try to increase production from other producers and also figure out how quickly they could get that facility back online. Okay, first of all, when Abbott, the manufacturer, shut down back in February, babies died, okay? This is a bacteria that existed in a manufacturing plant. Of course the FDA did the right thing. For him to start off his answer there basically means I have no better answer because any idiot could tell you that if you have bacteria in a baby formula plant and it is resulting in the deaths of babies, we shut it down. Well, congratulations for giving FDA the, uh, the uh, two thumbs up on what they should have done, and that's a no-brainer. But the fact that the president didn't know, I don't believe that. Honestly, I, I think if you hear that there's a baby manufacturer, a baby formula manufacturer that's causing baby deaths, and we've got a shortage in this country, and it's been going on since February, and everyone in the industry predicted this would happen, and yet the president doesn't know about it, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't buy it. Yeah, and there and, are and allegations there are... of baby deaths. Oh, go ahead, Emily. Yeah, just to, just to be clear, there are allegations of baby deaths stemming from that uh, yes. going back to the fall, which is why it sparked that FDA investigation of that then took them four months. And I do down. appreciate one of the questions from one of the um, uh, journalists in the pit asking, is the president satisfied with the response now? And to me, I'm most interested in, are we collectively satisfied with the response now? I agree that everything... Uh, seem to have fallen through the cracks. It raises flags about anything from like insulin to, you know, I got to get Charlie in, but I think we're not satisfied with the response, especially when you take a look at the wall, Charlie. Let's take a look yeah. right now. Babies hospitalized as formula shortages grow more dire. Baby formula shortage behind four hospitalizations in South Carolina and Georgia. Another example in Biden uh, today off to Delaware for the weekend. <laughs> nice yeah. long weekend. It's yeah. not Memorial Day, by the way. Yeah, it's the not reason... a long weekend, as Kamala would tell us. <laughs> Yeah, the reason that issues like gas prices and inflation are so explosive politically is because people feel them so personally. There can be nothing more personally felt by a mom and a dad than whether or not they have the formula to feed their children. Mm -hmm. This is a big issue, and, and when they tune in and what they see is this administration saying this stuff that they're saying, it doesn't give them any faith whatsoever that this uh, administration can handle things. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll see when midterms come. Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Cain podcast for full episodes right now.